There we go. All right. OA interviews. We're here with Primus, an OA member, one of the photography gods on the site. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Uh, so, what was the last convention you went to? Last convention I went to, Dragon Con in Atlanta. It's a good last convention, actually. That's a freaking awesome last convention. All right. Yeah. So, um, well, you're one of the photographers we have on the site, so let me just start out asking, uh, what got you started in shooting cosplayers just on a, in a convention? Cosplayers in a convention, um, mostly just because, uh, you know, I, I go to conventions and sometimes I find myself bored with uh, what did you know, what I'm doing, just hanging out in halls and stuff, and uh, I thought, you know, why not pick up photography? I've got a lot of friends there in photography, and they take pictures of cosplayers and stuff in the halls, and it seems to give them something to do, and they upload them, and everyone's like, oh my god, it's so cool, you know, all these pictures are so nice, thank you very much, and I was like, that's something I could do, so um, I figured I'd purchase a camera and uh, pick up a new hobby. Alrighty, so uh, you mentioned your friends are photographers, uh, what... what uh what are your friends' names? Just, like, pimp them out. Uh, I've got Nick D'Angelo, also on Orange Anime. I've got Morataya of Morataya Photography. Um, God, I know a few other people. Um, you're going to make me look them up on Facebook, but I'm not <laughs> going to do that. It's going to take too much time. But those two guys uh, are both really good, and um, they're, uh, they're at conventions a lot taking pictures. So look out for them. All righty. So... Uh, you're a photographer, um, so you've got some pretty heavy gear around your neck, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it, it hurts. Alrighty, so uh, just list off your gear for us, and we'll we'll try to see how much you've spent on this hobby. All right, Nikon D7000 body with a DB11 battery grip, um, a SB600 external flash, a 55 to 200 millimeter f5 or f4.5. No, that's an f. Damn, I don't remember. It's a f4 to 5.6 lens, a 35 millimeter f1.8, a 17 to 55 millimeter or 17.55 no 17.50 millimeter f2.8 and a 70 to 300 millimeter f4.5 to 5.6, a Manfrotto tripod, a um, Gary Fong light, uh, collapsible light sphere diffuser, a what else? And a bag. I don't remember the name of it. It's been a while. But Just I have a bag. Random camera bag. So yeah. all in all, how much was all that for this hobby of yours? Um, twelve hundred dollar body, two hundred dollar lens, two hundred dollar lens. You do the math here. I'm gonna. All right. So we're at sixteen hundred dollars so far. Mm -hmm. um, Eight hundred dollar lens. It's Eight hundred dollar lens. It's thirty-two. Um, hundred dollar bag. It's thirty-three. Uh, I actually got a three hundred dollar flash for sixty dollars from an awesome friend of mine, Melissa Alabac. Melissa Alabac Photography. She is awesome. Thirty-three sixty. Um, okay. Uh, tripod was like I don't remember. That was a gift. Um, I think like eighty. Uh, what else did I say I have? Diffuser was 60, another 60. 3420. Battery grip was, I don't remember, $100, and $100 I think? 3520. Um, is that everything? I think that's everything. 3520? Yeah. That sounds about right. I was going to say three, three to 4000 so. Yeah, so $3,520 for a hobby. Yep, that's a hobby. That I make no money off of because I don't want to. Speaking of, uh, do you get paid to do photo shoots? Do you get paid to attend events? Do you get invited to events like just to take photography? No, um, I've actually been trying to uh, get into concerts and stuff, but you have to have usually a media. Um, you have to be covering for some kind of media outlet, like a website or a magazine or something, or the newspaper. Um, as far as conventions, no, uh, I'm an amateur. I'm a hobbyist. I do not ask. Uh, I will take your photos. Um, I take mostly hall photos. I don't really do organized photo shoots just because I'm not really comfortable enough with my skills yet, even though I've been doing this for like two years and spent $3,500 on it. Derp. Um, but I don't really think of myself as a professional, and I feel bad asking people for money for photos. 
Okay, so you've never set up like a booth at a convention hall and just nope. said, hey, let, come here, let me take your picture. I might do that in the future. Um, I've seen people have some sick setups, especially at Dragon Con. Uh, if you go on the Marriott of the second floor, second floor? I think it's technically like the fourth floor of the Marriott. But um, people have like, you know, their umbrella diffusers and their their reflectors and they've got the whole like little mini studio set up off in the corner and a lot of them don't charge for sh for pictures it's just like you'll come out and they hand you a business card your pictures will be here at the end of the convention go check it out so i might do something like that in the future because it seems all cool. right cool so um what i was with you at afo when we saw the uh, the mega man made out of uh, balloons guy that was pretty cool what do you look for in a, in a cosplay I look for something uh, original, something you don't really see very often. Um, I go to a lot of conventions and see the same old, you know, like uh, Naruto and just the same the same stuff at every convention. And uh, but I love going to conventions and seeing original stuff, just really creative stuff. Uh, there was at Dragon Con last year. There was a the, just the one that always pops into my mind. Dragon Con last year. There was a uh, Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's, and he was walking around doing a little like voodoo zombie walk thing and that's just something you never see at a convention to I me mean, that's awesome that people like you know there's these little known things that people just come out and do another thing is um uh i like seeing craftsmanship not just clothes and makeup but i love seeing like the gundams and the uh, world of warcraft cosplayers with all the armor and weapons and stuff and just people that go all out for this like leather working metal working you know chain mail there's any any like really cool craftsmanship that you don't see very often that someone obviously put a lot of hard work into. That's what draws my attention. So anything that uh, people sweat in when they walk around? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially here in Florida. Yeah, no, wearing a Gundam in Florida is not. <laughs> <laughs> Even a box Gundam. Box Gundam. Alright, so kind of last question. Any advice you want to give to up-and-coming photographers besides the obvious, like, don't dive right into the, the latest Canon body line or... Yeah, um, it's really all about the lens. Um, don't spend, you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars on a camera body just because you know it's you know the new thing. Um, you can go out and buy a, you know, a six or seven hundred dollar entry level D fifty one hundred or uh, Canon Rebel T series, and take just as good photos as someone with that, you know, with my camera with my D seven thousand. As long as you get the right lens, it's all about the lens. Forget bodies, get a good lens. Um, that said, your best lens for conventions are actually extremely cheap. Those would be the, uh, my favorites are the uh, 35 millimeter and the 50 millimeter f1.8. They're very wide aperture, they let in, they're great for low light indoor photography and you're here in convention centers, hotels, whatever. You don't need a flash, um, so you get really good natural lighting on your subject. Um, Put one of these two, one or two hundred dollar brand new lenses on a cheap, you know, six or seven hundred dollar D fifty one hundred or Rebel uh, Canon Rebel series, and you're going to take amazing pictures. I promise. As long as you learn that body and learn your settings, you're going to take amazing photos. I promise. All right, all right. And last question, probably. Uh, I know, I know, you said it before, but uh, you don't prefer Canon or Nikon. But you nope. shoot with a D seven D seven hundred D seven thousand D seven thousand. Yeah. Okay. Um, I shoot a Nikon D seven thousand. Uh, that's the only reason I shoot that camera is because it was the best camera that had the features I needed at the time. If it was a Canon body, I would have bought it from Canon. If it was Pentax, I would have bought it from Pentax. Doesn't matter what kind of body you're looking for. Um, especially Nikon and Canon, they make exactly the same bodies. The only thing that matters on these cameras is the settings. Is um like navigating through the menu and the dials and stuff. Uh, my best, I, my best advice for choosing Canon or Nikon: if you see two of the exact same bodies, the exact same specifications that you can't decide, go to Best Buy, pick one up, try the settings, try to navigate through the menu. Pick the other one up, navigate through the settings, navigate through the menu, and just whichever one feels better in your hand, that's the camera for you. It, it does not matter. Don't listen to fanboys that say Canon's better. Don't listen to fanboys that say Nikon's better because it's all crap. Just pick what feels better in your hand. That's all that matters. Alrighty. Well, thank you, Primus. Uh, what's the next con you're going to? I'm going to MegaCon in March. MegaCon? I'll be at MegaCon, yeah. And uh, Orange Anime's got a lot of stuff at MegaCon, so go check out Orange Anime stuff. Alrighty. Look for Primus and his monster beanie and his giant camera strap in his bag. 
Yep. He'll be there taking your there. photos. Yep. All right. Thanks, man. Yep. Take care, man. See ya.